Hey guys, what's up? It is Sarfnik here. Welcome back to another episode of Hearth History. This is going to be the longest one yet. Welcome to GLSMP. We will be discussing Gaming Lounge SMP and its result on Hearth. Because this one was huge to Hearth. It was integral to the community. Just a quick FYI, there were technically three seasons of GLSMP that I played in. However, two of them, the videos aren't up anymore. But the last one, the videos are. It's labeled under Season 1, but technically it's not. So... It all began on one of my Lork SMP videos in August of 2017. Someone left a comment, a guy named Dalton, saying, Hey, you look like you're into Minecraft SMPs, want to join one? I responded instantly and joined his Discord. I remember this day pretty awesome because a lot happened this day in real life and in game. I believe it could have been August 23rd, 2017. Literally a few days before I started my freshman year of high school, which was August 28th. 2017. Anyways, I met all the members, and back then I really liked them. Dalton was cool. I had been in the VC with him. In fact, that was the only time I was ever in a VC with him for the rest of GL, and until now, I've never got to be in a VC with him again. Then there was Boostly, and then I met Myra Muffin, who was known as Zince, Tiny Waffle back then. He's weird. And I met Camo, and I met a bunch of other members later, like Steel, and I really liked the community, so I decided to invite Warcrys, and Warcrys immediately said, Fuck Lork, let's get on here. And I invited Krat as well. Supreme, too. So I actually remember the first day I couldn't stick around for long because I had to go boxing. I remember going to a Taco Bell and getting food before and... Oh my god, that was a bad choice. I don't know why, that was a weird day. I think it's because I biked there or couldn't get a ride or something. I don't know, but I remember that day so well. And then I went to the gym, the boxing gym. <laughs> couldn't work out that well because it was a Taco Bell. Or I beat a Taco Bell. I actually still go boxing in the same place. It's crazy. And I remember Delton, like, right before I left, like, enjoy your boxing. So I thought he was a really nice guy. Turns out I was wrong. Turns out he had issues. And we wouldn't have any other happy moments with each other after that. So this first map was kind of weird. It, it had, like, a, a shasome mountain biome, you know, like the savannah biomes, like, with the huge mountains. That was the spawn. There were houses there. I remember I built, like, in another savannah right nearby. There was, like, a desert in between. There was a village that Steel owned back then. I didn't really know him. And then I kind of had a house there where Boostly would always come by in golden armor and stuff. And then to the right, I don't know what direction it is, there was a desert where Zince lived, my rat muffin, and he chatted with me a bit. And then that season ended pretty fast. I might have only had like two videos on it. I remember using the Illuminati theme as my intro. So we're getting into what some folks refer to as GL SMP Season 1. I'm not going to refer to it as that. I'm just going to refer to it as the earlier season because of the fact that I technically refer to the later season as Season 1 in my series because that's what GL actually officially classified it as. So for this new season, it started out like in a plains biome. They had a build team that made it an okay lobby or spawn. It wasn't that good, but whatever. Apparently in the Warcries, it was actually pretty decent. But... We set out to create a base, so I teamed up with Myra Muffin, aka Zince, this season. And we actually decided to both record for my channel, like he had access to my channel and everything. So I've got like all of his footage from the season, so there's actually quite a lot. So there's going to be some stuff appearing in the background, like here's us designing our base. So yeah, I teamed up with Myra Muffin, and we decided to build kind of like a modern base. Myra always tries building Myra ba or modern bases like that. Tongue twister. Meanwhile, enjoy this early base tour from Moderate Muffin. In the episode, we made made a skeleton spawner. It does function. We also created a whole host of farms from melons in the back, pumpkins in the lesser back, and sugar cane. We also have the shack, or aka the potato. I'll see you all next time. Man, his voice was so high back then, and mine was slightly higher, but not even that much compared to his. Yeah, this was early September 2017. This SMP season lasted through September. Anyways, I remember the next day, the day after this clip was recorded, we actually went on a journey to the world border. It's pretty funny. So hello guys, welcome back. This is episode two, where Cypher Nickel Pickles actually turned up enough for everybody to hear him. Say hi. Hello, everyone. This episode, hey. we're gonna do something different. We're actually just gonna go, I need food. Anyway, we're gonna go out into the world, do some exploring the southern world border, which is that way. Yeah, I just came back from the western. I also went to the eastern the other day. Yeah, so the southern... So I'm already... We're gonna find the southern crazy cape tribe. 
after we get some food. So that journey was fun. We indeed found it. And this world was weird. They actually had the world border extend every once in a while. And we actually noticed it extend. Okay, guys, guys, this is, a, this is an extra clip. So the world border grew a block. Yo, I'm in the block. I'm in the block of a horse. As you know, the only reason why we have recordings is because we were doing perspective switch videos. I don't think they were that good, but some of them were fun. Still wish I hadn't deleted them, man. Bad choice. This really bad choice and bad judgment by me. I did it because of the fact that, like, a few of them were edited bad and actually corrupted. But some of them weren't. Like, this series was perfectly fine. But, whatever. Anyways, there was some time in between this. I was bored, so I met up with Krat at some birch forest into the north. And we decided to start a team, like a prank team. Team Viking! And our first plot was to grief our own bases so no one suspected us. It would be like a secret identity prank group, basically. Like, we'd leave signs and stuff. So we both did that. Cry had a base with Supreme in a mountain. First, we griefed mine by covering it with dirt. Pranked. Not griefed, actually. Sorry. And then we went to Krat's base, and we overdid Krat's base. We covered it all in snow. So a day later, or maybe the same day, or a few days later, I met up with Zince. And he saw that our base was pranked. He was like, oh my god, Sarfnik. Oh my god. So I got on, pretended I didn't know anything about it. Okay, guys, so we just got pranked. But anyway, I, I tried to record it, but I, 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 I messed up. He was streaming instead of recording. Oops. But anyway. So we're making this super discreet. We're making this super discreet hidden base in a, in, in a forest. We want to show off the prank. Well, our base was just covered in like a like one block thick of dirt, so it's not that impressive. For some reason, I wanted to get him to know about the Krat ranking as well, so we actually decided to go to Krat's base. Like, I came up with some excuse, like, oh, let's check out Krat's base or something. And we go there, and the whole place is pranked, and he had a freaking good reaction as well. It was hilarious. Oh, guys, this is a plot since we just got here, and look at this. You're, ne you're our next Vic still. What the, what the hell? Supreme, you got pranked. Wait, what? Are you, you got pranked. Yeah, there's like, oh, I accidentally created a waypoint. He's next! Well, oh, yo! You're our next victim! Well, crappy boy, you left your doors open, I guess. You're next. For the Vikings to strike, her, her, go on. Hope oh you like God. snow! <gasps> oh, and. Wait, what do they for? Right, well, and if you get triggered, sure you'll get banned. Also, say hello to Bob, to the snowman. Nasty. He's pretty frosty. Is it Boof? It has to be Boof at this point. Yeah, this is it. He even, it even said crappy boy. Look, I think they just, yeah, they, they put snow all <laughs> How'd over. How'd they get in though? Well, isn't the door outside private? Yeah, I thought they said you left the door open. They did leave the door open. Did crack actually do that? Dude, we need, yep. we need, to, we need to increase our security. Also, from what I believe, Supreme was actually not in on it at the time, but he actually did get pretty happy once we just told him because he actually liked the idea. We also actually visited Boost Base after that. I just want to show you what it looks like here just because it's going to be an important location for later. So as Team Viking progressed, we decided to prank more people and we did recruit Zin Smart Muffin to our team eventually. He discovered the twist. He liked the twist. It was pretty funny. And we also got Cam and Warcries in there as well. We tried to prank a few more people as well. Like I remember trying to prank Steel. I think I had the recording, but, you know, I lost it, so no recordings on that with Krat. But then Steel returned, and we had to cancel our prank. It was actually pretty funny. But we actually started to make enemies with one group in particular, Boosley. Now, I had a dislike for Boosley because she kind of shit-talked Krat and Krat has autism. And I'm like, well, you're a staff member, and you're shit-talking a person with autism. Like, just, that's like a low, in my opinion. I still believe that's a low. I actually renamed my brother's account, which back then was my old account. He actually reclaimed it recently because he got back into Minecraft before he actually quit Minecraft, so I was using my old account. Team Viking and got Dalton to whitelist me. Dalton was like, actually a Chad. He just said, yeah, sure, I'll whitelist it. <laughs> and I joined everyone was speaking out like, Boost, like, who is it? And she just looked through name MC or whatever, and then they found my brother's old YouTube channel. But for some reason, they thought it was Cam, because it sounded like Cam. That was kind of funny. There's some other stuff I gotta mention before I get into this, though. I actually had a jungle base that I was working on. I remember Steel came there to help me build some statues, kind of like meant to be like a mine base. It was a CSGO map that I was inspired by. But we actually never got to finish it because of stuff I'm gonna bring up later. But that was actually the inspiration for my Evernet Season 5 base. Time to go hunting wow, with a horse. Oh, well, I have a horse, yeah. Down I here. have a horse. Want me to go go to the crap? Wait, who horse? took off? Who took off the saddle of my horse? What the hell? Oh, you, you, you've been pranked. 
Yes, yeah, someone took off the diamond armor and saddle. Someone has been pranked. Someone has been pranked. Someone took my diamond horse armor. Yep, and my saddle's off. Okay. I'm gonna check. They're I'm gonna dead. check the okay. base. Evacuate the craft Yo, base. Yo, I'm so triggered, guys. Yeah. That was my horse armor. Oh my god, I'm so done. As long as they go this way, I'll get back to craft. Hey, you got? You guys want to load up on dirt? Yeah, you guys work on getting a what minute she's I'm gonna steal a saddle from Booth Boy, okay? Man, I'm so I have a saddle on my base. This is the ultimate war of the season. <laughs> Poor guys fucking stole from Booth. <laughs> anyway, six days after this clip, we actually assembled our team and decided to prank Boosley's base because we had enough of Booth. Me and Warcraft, we really hated Booth. Like, seriously. Yeah, she's the opposite side of I need to grab my horse. Grabbing Goliath. Yeah, someone has placed like stones. Maybe it is Boof. Yeah, it might be Boof. Yeah, if it's Boof, we're done. She's gone. She's gonna be covered in dirt. Man, oh, I forgot to get the dirt. Who cares? We can get the dirt later. Dude, we have a full double chest full of dirt. I think we should cover our house in vines. What do you think of that? Why? Because it's, it's, it's kind of cool. Because she has all those parrots at her base to represent the jungle. You take the parrots with you, the jungle comes with you, too. Yeah. You take the parrots, the jungle comes. Literally! Who, what are who these? Who found the jungle? Who found the jungle? Technically, it was me. Okay. Or maybe someone else. That's why I, I have, a, that's why I have like a main base there. So I actually remember the recording of this. I think I released it on Friday the 13th. October 2017. It was a pretty fun video, very similar to the Everneth griefing video that I released recently, like last year. This is actually very similar to the Everneth griefing. We basically, we didn't prank our base, we griefed Boosley's base. We looked at the rules and found out you couldn't destroy blocks, but there was no rule about placing blocks for griefing. So we just placed dirt all throughout her like house and then like flooded her entire outside of her base. And Delton came on and said, you guys are banned. Now, we were with Cam, Krat, and Marit Muffin, but for some reason, Warcries and I were the only people who got banned. And it was a season ban, meaning that we were allowed next season. So we just said, F this SMP, we're coming back next season, which wasn't even for like another month. So, that's the tale of Team Viking. Now, in between these seasons, in October of 2017, so we, are, we were already banned, we got banned in September 2017, and the next season even starts in November 2017. So in October, we started another SMP, very similar to Lork, called Seasons. I said I wouldn't mention it, but I actually think it's good, just as a little gap here. And the only folks that were invited were my brother, me, Warcries, one of my IRL friends, Krat and Supreme. Basically, it ended in a very similar manner to Lork, where Warcries and I, ba 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 ba, boom, Krat's base. Supreme rolled the realm back, because it was on Supreme's realm this time. And then we bada boom did again, and he rolled it back again, and we just said, fuck this, we're quitting. So without further ado, let's get into the second part of this video. GLSMP's second season, I, I labeled it as the first season again in my series, because technically it was the first season by theirs. The previous seasons were just labeled by maps and not seasons. It's the second GLSMP, and I teamed up with Warcries, but I actually had a very good alliance with Steel. There was like a pirate island spawn, it wasn't that good. And yeah, Warcries and I just went... To a direction and built a little house in a forest. Hey guys, Sarfnik here. Welcome to another episode of GLSMP Season 1. I'm here with Warcrys today and he's making a sugar cane. Sugar cane I believe for the intro of this season, the start of this season, I actually was at my grandparents' house for it. Back then, I could just bring my laptop and record normally in my grandparents' house. There's no difference. It's in a different state. It's in Wisconsin instead of Illinois. I actually did that for part of Lork SMP, believe it or not, but I forgot to mention that because I'm bad. Steel's base is actually at Cloroxia Island. It was a mountain island. Pretty awesome spot. I had actually worked at mountain islands before and I really liked it, and we became good allies. Anyways, I actually went to visit Moderate and Cam's base one time, and Dalton, he was a bad admin. He abused, and just watch this moment. Oh, what the F? Why is there a flying end crystal now? Dalton! Let me, Dalton. Wait, let me, let me take a screenshot of it. <laughs> Why is there a flying end crystal? I want to hit it. I want to smack I'm it. I'm recording this. I'm recording this. I want to smack it. <laughs> if Dalton is doing this again, I want to touch it. I want to touch it. Wait, he left again and he did give me my hopper. I died. You blew up. I got your stuff. I got your stuff. I got your stuff. 
Some of it might fall into lava. Though. And then Zince and Cam tried killing me. We were basically playing an earlier version of Minecraft, man. I was digging down. And I was actually about to die, and then Dalton TBs me out. Oh my god, where is he? Dalton, where is he? What? They aren't gonna cheat you. You're down there. I got teleported out. I was about to suffocate. Gravel fell on me when you were at two and a half hearts, and then Dalton just saves me. <laughs> Legend. 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 So I believe I actually moved to Cloroxia Island, and then Steel Warcrys and I decided to go rush the Ender Dragon, just as a big FU to the GLSMP authority. They actually included moderate AK Zins and Cam as well, we were angry at them too. And we killed the dragon, but shortly after, they showed up. Oh, boofs triggered as shit. Oh, they're, they're resurrecting Wait, it legit. How? But how- they're impossible to get. They're trying to shoot me. Zen's trying to shoot me. Oh wait, you can take damage from bows? What the hell? Wait, they're they shooting me. They're you trying to off, kill log me. Log off, log off, log off, log off, log off. I logged off, I'm I gonna kill them. I'm in the okay, end. I'm they're in, in the end dimension. That's the thing. I remember my bow, sir. Wait, is-, is, is Wait, wait, war. Is- Yeah? Is- I'm gonna rejoin. Is PvP on? Enabled. It's enabled PvP fire. is enabled. Yeah, but they said it's enabled today. I guess they lied. No, it's they not. They said it wasn't it's enabled not, today. Not. Oh, it is. It's it enabled. Is, it, is, it is. Log off, log off, log off. I'm gonna kill them all. I need to get out. I need to get out. I need to get out now. Wait now, sir. I got out of the end. 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 We're gonna- I'm gonna kill them. Okay. Okay, okay I'm, I'm outside the portal. I'm outside the portal. So, that was actually technically completely- illegal because we had a grace period thing on and if you're wondering how that explains how i almost died during the camo thing i almost died because they used exploits to actually attack me pvp wise but this one was really really suspicious and they just enabled it as i entered and zin tried calling off as though i was threatening his attempt to take the dragon down or whatever first off they were pissed they probably rushed the they probably they might even tp to the stronghold just so they could get the dragon fight again because we ruined it for them the first time either way that was really suspicious and it was enough to make warcry start planning to quit the smp also when zin died boostly was actually tp'ing her back in one of the interviews of Warcrys, we actually thought that they had a bed and we were wrong, but it turns out we actually weren't. They were just using TP, which I still consider not to be that bad because TPA is a thing. They were just using TP to shorten the time, which is still, you shouldn't do that as an admin, but TPA is a thing, so it isn't really that bad. And how did you kill me in the I end? Like, you couldn't kill me in the in the overworld, but you tried killing me in the end. And you could what actually you, wait, don't me. even bring that up. You tried ambushing me when I spawned back at the bed. No, we d yeah because yes, you tried right. killing yes, us. Yeah, I know. When you even there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I was. Wa I know. You. But you tried killing him because you shot him multiple times after yeah, you saw him. I was scared. Hurt. I was scared that he was gonna destroy one of the uh, Ender crystals. Even I if he did, I didn't he do it. Even yeah, you if said he you could have, you could have. But Z, but please, even if he know. did. But why did you try killing me then? That's even worse. Z, exactly. Like okay, you know how police Z. like Z. they shoot people if they have a gun out. They don't know if they're gonna fire it, so. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm thinking about Jason Piro. <laughs> oh yeah. So why are you getting mad at me when you should be mad at the police and other people for doing that? In no. World, okay, the, the, mad at me for listen. In a video game. Okay, everyone, shut still, up. Still, I have something. That's kind to say. of you were yelling at other people for cheating, yet you cheat. By Guys, doing listen that. to that. What do you mean? Boy, I have something to say. Yeah, exactly, boo. Shortly after that incident, Warcrys quit the SMP. Not much really happened after that, I just kind of lived alone. I did have a base at Clorox Island still, but I didn't really feel that into the SMP without my main man, Warcrys! <laughs> Cringe, obviously. So, I actually remember one time I went to a jungle really far away and got a bunch of parrots, and I couldn't take them all in one boat, I could only take two of them with me. So I just left them in the desert, and as I come back, I just see camo and moderate because it's just killing them I'm like no and then actually around early december the smp just ended they ended it themselves and that was it for gl smp now let's get into some interviews with some of the gl members <laughs> so krat do you remember team viking from gl smp yes i do remember that remember how we had that all secret we griefed our own bases like we griefed my base with moderate and then we griefed your base, which was with Supreme. 
It was. Yeah. I think that was your idea, actually. That was a really smart idea. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but I do remember we had, we put it up with snow. Yeah, yeah, because your base was made of snow, and we like snowified it. No, it was a, no, it was just in a cave. It was just in a cave. And yeah, I it was in a cave, and then, and then it was like on a mountain. And then we actually covered your base in snow, and said Team Viking strikes again, yeah, whatever. And then we recruited Warcries and Moderate to our team. And Warcries. What do you remember about the first season we played in GL? Okay, so season one of GL, um, the staffing was rather good. I liked it. So, there the staff members were Dalton and Boof. There may have been a few others. I don't remember them. We began as our own team, us two and Krat, if I remember correctly. Is that correct? You and I? No, no, I was teaming with Moderate this season. Okay. I mean, you. Did we meet Moderate beforehand? I mean, there was uh, another okay. season of GL I played that you didn't uh, meet Moderate, but I played like another season of GL before oh, this. Oh yeah, that. Okay. I joined like midway through though, but this was your first interaction with okay. Moderate and Camo and all those yeah. guys. Yeah. And so if I, in that case, I started separately. You started with Moderate. Was I teamed with Krat then? Yeah, most likely. Because okay. I, I don't that, know. That Krat was teamed with Supreme, and they live at, like, this mountain base. Mm -hmm. Boof was around for that, Camo was around for that. It was a lot of fun. It definitely had, like, became a lot of, like, a meme at one point. And yeah, by the way, guys, this is the same guy who had the high voice earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, well, how things change. Things but, change um, so fast. I think Team Viking, like, sort of started snowballing around, like, GL, but... It like really sort of came into fruition, like it's like maximum sort of presence. We eventually came together. Um, Moderate did come together for this as well, but he didn't support us all the way through, as is smart with him because we made some dumb choices later on. And we created a Team Viking. Yeah. Team Viking was sort of a rebellious, very, very uh, almost libertarian prank group. group. Yeah extremely libertarian to the point in which it gets bad. What happened was we began by pranking Goof because we didn't like Goof for some odd reason because we thought the rules were stupid or she was bad. Or she we thought she was a bad common. staff member. She wasn't a bad staff member. She's actually a rather good staff member. Because I know me and you had a base in that season. Yeah, yeah, we we had a base. Yeah, I think you guys had like an extra account which became like Viking or Team Viking or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. I, I used my alt and named it Team Viking and Dalton was legendary enough to actually whitelist it <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i was so confused like what is happening and boof was freaking out trying to like check name mc and figure out who it was and i think she thought it was camo or something. <laughs> 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 i remember that it was so funny and then team viking you remember how team viking ended uh yes the boats the boats yes our, our the boats <laughs> the water prank yeah, I think we. I think it was boost basically they covered yep. in water. Because apparently there was no rule against griefing with placing blocks, so we just placed a bunch of dirt and water everywhere. Because we we actually didn't like Boof because she kind of bullied you a bit in chat, and you actually yeah. had autism, so we decided that it was reasonable enough to actually grief her base over. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we got banned for the season, which is funny. Like we didn't even care. Like we we just did it. I remember when we were with you, we actually griefed, no, we, didn't, no, we, we pranked, we tried pranking Steel's base, but then Steel came home, and we all freaked out, like, oh no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was amazing. Uh, so what we did, we had a sort of, um, we had a sort of, I guess, vendetta against Boof, and we start began by pranking her, and she got mad, she told us we would not like to prank them, we evaded the or we would not like to prank using very specific um wording and we evaded the rules by abuse or by looking at the wording yeah which said then, griefing is yeah. destroying bases destroying Correct. blocks and so placing. flooded it with water which was stupid uh, their wording was also stupid but it was stupid nonetheless it's not like the wording has to cover everything every time either way going out on a vendetta against that just because of stupid rule wording was dumb and pointless and immature. Um, I liked Dalton's moderation. I don't like Dalton now. But us, in a, our, in, a, in our own experience on the server, uh, we did not play well. Therefore, I didn't. I don't really view it as a good thing now. 
it was a good server, and if we played well, I would have liked it. But we didn't. Closing thoughts on GLSMP and Team Viking? Viking, the Team Viking stuff, that was fun, but GLSMP fucking suck. Especially that the second horrible. season as well. Horrid. Like, we, that's, I think it was a good thing we stopped playing it. Jeez, it sucked. It, they brought it back for around the same time as Hearth S5. They actually brought it back, which was last year, last summer, mm -hmm. summer 2020. But none of us played, not even Myra played. He was in the group, but he never played. I think it was good. I think it's good that it's, we, got, didn't, we didn't play that again. It was just bad. Mm -hmm. Something we agree on. We did a few funny things about, like, we pranked ourselves. Krat and I, we pranked our yeah, own Yeah, that, that was good. That was yeah. a good execution. That was crazy. Like, that was so fun, but then it all kind of got bad after we got a little bit angry, and then we just tried to grief Boo's face and <laughs> call it out as a prank. And we got banned. Closing thoughts on that season? That season was a lot of fun. I feel like it definitely, like, sort of became, like, the foundation of, like, what, what would become the Hearth SMP. Like, we had, like, the where we had most of the members. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a lot of members from GL. I feel like those, like, following seasons would be, like, the best of, like, SMP Hearth. Yeah. Uh, was that the one where we had, like, Cord and Lewis or, like, Steel or, or whatever? No. Oh, uh, well, it must have been, like, the next season. The next season? So, regarding season two now, which I believe you barely played because you... Still yeah. hated the staff and you quit. So season two, um, I just made a huge mistake for reference. We had to pre-record this, but uh, it's at the beginning. Um, we it was a rather interesting spawn. I personally didn't like the spawn. It's not really it's kind of just traditional values thing I have with the SPs. Um, it was a very very expansive spawn that they built. I'm not sure if they requested it from a build team or built it themselves. It was very big and I don't remember. Either way. Uh, there are a few particular things about this spawn, which I will mention later. But, uh, I Sarfnik, you started Season 2 earlier than me. Yeah, I found a base and then you went yeah. there. Yeah. I joined a bit late, and I found, whenever I joined, I found um, end portals hidden under, in the spawn as decoration. Um, so, in that case, I think I went to the end early. They did get bothered by it. Uh, because obviously, you know, cheating with end portals that I found. But I did not get banned, and um, I'm pretty sure the advancement was either reverted or they just teleported me out or killed me. Uh, didn't get back my items and, you know, just went on. Told me not to do it again. Either way, we continued. We went through the dra the actual dragon fight on Cyphernix episode 5. I joined episode 3 for reference. Mm -hmm. And... Sarf, or Sarf and I began fighting the dragon with Steel, doing it early. Steel died. Yeah, Steel him. died, and then Boop came in. And we thought Boop had been uh, cheating when our staff members died but it turned, by teleporting them back. But it turns out they just had beds and we were retrans. Here's the I, weird thing. I, got, I think we wanted we wanted to believe that they were cheating because we wanted to hate them. Yeah. Or at least from my POV, I, I, I remember being weird. disappointed when they I found out they weren't cheating. I was legitimately disappointed. Just, yeah. That sounds like really bad. Like, why would you be disappointed? Anyways. Either going. way. So, we thought they were cheating. Um, I got pissed at them. Um, I did apologize to them after I realized, but I still hated the SMP for some odd reason that I forget. Yeah. Probably, oh my god, be bad for some odd reason. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was, again, stupid on our part. The season was fine. I didn't like their spawn this time around. Season 1 of the SMP was better. And then Dalton sort like sort of became retrad and disappeared. That is what I dislike because the season just. He ended. came back around Hearth SMP season five time. He tried yeah. inviting me to GL, but I just me and Mara denied him because we didn't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, that was like the only bad thing. The end, how they, he ended it, but otherwise the SMPs are fine. I didn't like this bomb. That's all. But yeah. On us, stupid. Uh, stupid with all of us. <clears throat> Team Viking, dumb, stupid, bad. Team Viking was fun. Like, when we did the thing where we pranked ourselves, that was honestly super fun. We haven't really I done pranks it. since then. I think that concludes GL. Yeah. That's it, Mr. Nixman. Oh! You might not remember the season. It wasn't very memorable, but... I don't think I did. Uh, yeah, you played it, but, like, I don't... It's not memorable. So. I don't... I, I remember, like, a lot of things from Season 1. Yeah. Like, Season 2. Like... This one was hard to remember, because nothing really happened other than, like, we had a yeah. fight in the end dimension yeah yeah so closing thoughts on gl as a whole 
You bet S and P's hotel and whatever. Um, I feel like gaming lounge really like made a lot of friendships and like really expanded Hearth into well, what it was in like season five and upcoming to season six. Yeah. And it, I feel like it was really important because it was just a lot of fun. And it sort of year. made uh, like the SMPs continue on. So yeah, this was the last 2017 thing we did, GOSMP, from August to November, and we didn't we didn't do anything in December. So yeah, we're moving on to 2018 and Hearth Adventures preseason. Next, obviously, I want to talk a little more about this before we get going. This was the funnest video to make. I knew it would be the most epic one so far, it might be the most epic one overall, because a lot of this history isn't known since most of the videos are deleted. GL was a real learning experience, and it did get us a lot of new members, because we actually continued playing with Boof, Moderate Muffin, AK Zince, he's known as Zince throughout this time, but he became Moderate Muffin in 2020, Camo, Steel, and a few others, and Steel was actually the person that invited us to Everness later on. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. On your screen right now is the next episode, Hearth Adventures Preseason, Return of the King. However, that's actually not coming out till Monday because I need the weekend off because MCC is happening this weekend, but also just so I can put more quality into these videos because I've been rushing to make these. I'm so busy with work and everything. And on the left is actually one of the playlists for the second season of GL, the one that we just covered, the one without Team Viking, the one where War Christ quit and stuff. Yeah, you can watch that series if you want. It's kind of low quality, but whatever. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.